very good afternoon friends it is first march today and in the month of march you would be planning to close your books of accounts all taxpayers in this financial year relevant to the assessment year 24 25 would have to take into account and ensure that they are compliant with micro and small scale enterprise suppliers payment norms as per section 43b clause h as on 31st of march 2024 so that there is no loss on account of add back of such payments to mse suppliers in this video we will discuss a 10 point checklist on how to comply with 43 bh how to plan and what are the action points and do's and don'ts but before that a brief understanding of section 43b clause h of the income tax act this new clause which was uh, proposed in the budget 2023 requires that in case any taxpayer mind that no taxpayer is exempt from this clause 43b clause h of the income tax act so this clause requires that any taxpayer who is calculating profits and gains of business or profession would get the deduction of payment to micro and small scale enterprises as per the requirements of section 15 of the MSME Development Act 2006. Section 15 of the MSME Development Act 2006 requires that in case there is a contract with the micro or small scale enterprise in such case the due date of payment would be 45 days from the date we would discuss what is this date from which 45 days would be calculated or an earlier date if there is a contract in writing if there is no contract in writing then the due date would be 15 days so very important to note is as i have told you there has to be a written contract with the micro and small scale enterprise in case you need to take advantage of the higher number of 45 days it may be argued that an oral contract is also a contract but as per the msme development act 2006 a written contract is mandatory second it is very important that you send a letter to all your vendors to confirm and to provide you their utyam portal registration certificates it may be argued that the vendors are required to provide the msme numbers and category on their bills or purchase orders or letters or communications but it is always a best practice to ask your vendors for the udyam portal registration certificate from such certificate you would find out in case the mse vendor is a trader or not mind that 43bh is applicable only to service providers and manufacturers it is not applicable in case you are buying goods or services from a trader next 43b clause h violation and requirement is applicable only for small and micro enterprises not for medium scale enterprises what is micro small and medium scale enterprises you would get to know as per the office memorandum under the msme act in 2021 important to note again is that such clause h of 43 b is applicable only in case of purchase of goods or services it is not applicable in case you are purchasing an item which is required to be capitalized in your books of accounts certain arguments are there that in case of capex items the depreciation would be disallowed 
that has been ruled out by the honorable apex court in many earlier similar judgments which ratio can be applied to clause h under section 43b also therefore if you are making a payment to a micro or small scale enterprise for items which you are capitalizing in your books of accounts then the payment can be made even after the due date as per section 15 of the msme development act 2006 now a very important question which you must look into is this 15 days or 45 days is calculated from the date of the acceptance or deemed accept acceptance of the goods or services it is not from the date of the invoice in case within these 15 days or 45 days as the case may be you as a recipient or buyer raise an objection on the goods or services then the 15 days 45 days or such other date will be calculated from the date when the supplier resolves such objection next important to note is that the date of the check handover to the mse is important and not the date of encashment of the check until and unless your check bounces back when we are talking about deduction on a payment basis it is important to note two things first is that if you are making a payment to the mse in financial year 23 24 although the accrual is in 24 25 also then the deduction would be eligible on this advance payment to the micro and small scale enterprise also if you are violating the provisions of section 43b clause h and you are making the payment even before the due date of filing of the return for assessment year 24 25 as is applicable for other conditions of 43b in case of clause h provision to 43b is not applicable in simple terms even if you are making the payment before the due date of filing of the return for assessment year 24 25 but you have violated clause h of 43b then the deduction for the payment would be eligible to you only in the next assessment year 25 26 not in this assessment year 24 25 again very important to note is that you should not allow yourself to pay any interest to the micro or small scale enterprise vendors because as per section 23 of the msme development act any interest paid to these mses would not be allowed to you as a deduction and last if even after all these planning action points you falter to comply with clause h of section 43b then you need to see in case you are making a payment under the mat or the amt regime or you opt for a presumptive scheme under section 44 ad ada ae etc in such cases this clause h of section 43b for payment to mses would not be applicable to you and you can take a deduction on accrual basis not on payment basis so friends this very important provision is important to implement with immediate effect in the month of march 2024 and you should see that you do not lose out on money when you are filing the return for a non-compliance with clause h of 43b mind that your tax auditors 
would require to report on this clause H of section 43B in their tax audit reports. Thank you very much for listening. Do like, share and subscribe to this channel. Stay tuned. Thank you very much.